Good morning from Jerusalem, the city of rejoicing. Oh, so many of us around the world who are really pressing into God at this time and asking, what is this all about that's going on? And for me, I definitely want to share that I feel like God has set the reset button. And this whole thing that's going on is going to bring a shift. If this doesn't bring a shift, I don't know what will. So he's setting the reset button and bringing a shift. It is very exciting times because people's hearts are fertile. So I really want to encourage you today to hold on to your joy. We've got to. That's our inheritance in the Lord Yeshua. We've got to hold on to our joy. And we've got to fight for our praise. And, you know, it's so interesting because churches and prayer houses, you know, they say that in public places, we shouldn't be meeting more than 10. Well, I went to the supermarket last night and there were a lot more than 10 people. Israelis have uh, this kind of Israelis have seen how God has miraculously kept their land. And so there's kind of like a never say die attitude. Uh, it's a very victorious attitude and almost like things can't touch me. And they really do live for the day and they really do know how to enjoy life and they really do live in the solution but sometimes you wonder um do they really believe what's going on you know and i'm sure this is with people all around the world we all have our own personality we all have the way that we think and the way that we act we react to situations but i want to encourage you today to fight for your joy to hold on to your joy and so when we're in uh situations of 10 or more um, it, they say that it's it's not a healthy situation because the virus can pass to us. I don't know more of a percentage, but the point I'm trying to make is we know, need to know how to cultivate our own worship. Because if we can't be in these big corporate meetings now for health reasons, we need to be able, if we're quarantined at home, we need to be able to know how to worship God and bring down the heavens all by ourselves with God the Father and the Father Yeshua and Holy Spirit. So we're being pressed to have to really know how to go to God all by ourselves and cultivate our own worship. Fight for your worship because God gave me a powerful word in 2011. When we are worshiping God, he is literally fixing, changing, transforming, revitalizing, transcending and he is making all things new and many things that we think we think are our problems are really not god wants us to put everything on him and he says now go and leap for joy and serve my people leap for joy because you cannot carry burdens and anxieties and be leaping for joy it just they can't live in the same place so you have to choose one or the other and i remember one day somebody posted on facebook what are you trading for the joy of the lord and my answer would be everything I'm trading everything for the joy of the Lord. God bless you from the city of rejoicing. Remember to stay out of fear. Stay out of fear because that will rob you. And we know that the enemy has come to steal, kill, and destroy. And we need to get sleep and we need to drink water and we need to eat right and eat properly. So our bodies, we build up our immune systems. I'm actually even taking oregano oil. I'm taking pure uh, oregano oil, three to five drops on my tongue with the chaser of water, and I do it as often as I think of it because this is an antibiotic and it fights infection. Do what you can. Pray. The battle is won on our knees. And let's move through discouragement with the Lord. Let's be real before the Lord so that we can move through it with God and then we can encourage other people because our lives are not our own. They belong to Yeshua. Let's be dressed and ready for service. In Yeshua's name, amen.